Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> which is like top quality to zombie five killing birds, <laughs> which is one of the worst pieces of shit ever. Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. But before we get started, what are we drinking? Today we're drinking Crystal Lake Kolsch. <laughs> nice. Today we're going to bring to you a confusing history and downfall of the zombie movies. <laughs> All of the zombie sequels after Dawn of the Dead. Or what they call zombie in Italy. And that's where the confusion... Right from the start. Yeah. <laughs> so Dawn of the Dead was Dawn of the Dead everywhere else basically. Except for in Italy it was called zombie. There was many cuts of Dawn of the Dead too. Mm -hmm. Which adds to the confusion, right? So there's the theatrical cut, George Romero's cut which was 127 minutes. There was an extended cut, which is 139 minutes. And then there was the Dario Argento cut, which was cut down to 119 minutes, which was like the European cut. In Italy, it was called Zombie. Mm -hmm. Dawn of the Dead by George Romero is a masterpiece. <laughs> Gotta put that in there. It's yeah. one of the best zombie movies of all time. So of course, they have to kind of jump on that bandwagon, and try to bank off the name a bit. Zombie was actually Zombie 2 in Italy because they jumped on the back of it and made it a sequel. By name only. Yeah, by name only. Um, it was just Zombie in North America, and in the UK it was Zombie Flesh Eaters. But it also gets back to the origins of the zombie, right? With voodoo and mysticism and stuff like that. And this movie is also a masterpiece on its own. Yeah. Even though it is not a legit sequel, it's a standalone movie. It's a great movie. It's probably, again, one of the more beloved of the zombie genre films. Mm -hmm. What would be this movie? It's shot magnificently. The cinematography is fantastic. The zombies look great. Yeah, it's nice and gory. Yeah. It's got the, the eye scene, yeah. right? The famous eye scene. It's got a great score. It's a fucking masterpiece. Then we get to the sequel, Zombie 3. <laughs> and this one was actually directed by Lucio Fulci. Sort of. <laughs> so this one starts off with scientists in this lab, and they're working on this, uh, this compound called Death One. This compound gets out. It gets out into the general public and starts to infect people and turn them into zombies. A clash between the scientists and the military on how to contain this. Start to cremate a lot of the bodies and then the ashes get thrown into the air yeah. and then the birds take them and eat them or whatever and it gets spread out that way from the animals. Neat idea but not a, a wholly original. Run into various groups of people who run into these zombies, these infected people, and they have to survive. That's basically it. Pretty par for the course. <laughs> yeah. Zombie 3 was made like 10 years later after Zombie 2. Mm -hmm. Or Zombie or Zombie Flesh Eaters. First thing you'll notice is the massive decline in quality <laughs> between Zombie, Zombie 2, and Zombie 3. Yeah. It's like, holy fuck. Fuck, like, yeah. what happened? Just that opening shot in that lab, it's like, what? Is this filmed in someone's basement? Yeah, it f feels like an Are You Afraid of the Dark episode yeah. or something. Like, it looks like oh. they're using, like, food heat lamps as lighting sources. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's like, Fulci, man, what did you do? Who did you suck off to get the budget for the first zombie movie? And how come you couldn't suck off the same people for this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like the budget in this movie is so low. It was filmed, I think, in the Philippines. And it shows. To save money. And it's like, oh man, production quality is so bad. Yeah. The dubbing is horrible. Got a better idea? Yeah, of course. We must stop this. We are already working on studying an antidote for what, in my belief. It's like, <laughs> yay, let's get going here. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, is a virus. We're looking for an element which will enable us to stop this virus from reproducing. Fine. But actually, when you watch that guy's lips, he's actually talking like that, so the dubbing has to follow he's that. He's trying it's to like... match it. Yeah. <laughs> Besides this death one getting out in the public, 
this movie is kind of void of plot. Yeah. Like, that's it. Like, it gets out, and it just cuts to random people trying to survive. And then it cuts back to the military arguing with the scientists. Yeah. And that's the whole movie. There's no characters that you <laughs> get introduced to that you like. You don't even really know who the main characters are. Because there aren't, aren't really any, any. Really, it's just, no. just these random people you get into. As military guys show up, zombies kind of coming out of nowhere, they're coming from the ceiling, yeah. they're coming from walls, they're coming from everywhere. The zombies in this movie <laughs> come out of the stupidest places. Yeah. It's just like, like at the end, out of that hay bale, mm. the guys trying to like get onto the helicopter and they come they out of the hay out. bale like they're just waiting in the <laughs> hay bale. Like sleeping, I don't know. That do -da -din 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 -din. Yeah. <laughs> like when they're in that house, there's that one scene where they go to the fridge, they open that fridge up and there's that zombie head. Why there's a zombie head in the fridge? <laughs> I don't know. But it all comes flying out at them like <laughs> How? Oh, yeah. And why? Yeah, this is movie. It's like you're watching a bunch of different movies. Like every mm -hmm. scene seems like it's from a different movie. There's no like cohesion there's no, yeah, there's at no all. There's no continuity. Yeah, with anything. and I think a lot of that has to do because the fact that Fulci buggered off. He didn't <laughs> actually finish the movie. He, like took <laughs> off. He's like, did fuck this. Yeah. And so and all set to come on board to finish it. And it, you can tell that it is. There's no direction because there was no real director. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. About halfway through the movie, it instantly gets better, actually. And I think maybe that's where whoever was else was brought on kind of took the production by the balls. The makeup for the zombies gets better. The lighting, the camera work. Yeah. If Fulci was directing the first half, well... Man, you suck. Yeah, or maybe he directed the last half. <laughs> or maybe he yeah. did the last, yeah. yeah. Yeah, This movie is just a fucking mess. <laughs> it's yeah. like, I was, I've tried watching this movie about two or three times before I was actually able to finish it. And the only reason I finished it because I knew we were doing this episode. <laughs> yeah. It's a piece of nonsense. Well, I like to piss on a bush. Am I gonna go to hell for that? But I had a good time. Anyways, knowing what it was, you have to know that it's gonna be garbage going yeah, in, right? Yeah, see, I, I had a hard time enjoying it. <laughs> it has its moments, like with the head coming out of the fridge, <laughs> and a, a couple of zombie attacks are pretty good, but then you're just kind of like bogged down with all this boring in-between shit. That DJ guy they always show for no reason, yep. uh, talking <laughs> on the radio. But then at the end, he's all a zombie, yeah. but he's still doing his radio <laughs> show as a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do that. Like <laughs> zombies don't have the brain power yeah. to be running a fucking show. <laughs> yeah. That's funny because like one thing you'll notice from all these zombie sequels is there are no rules. Anything goes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Anything goes in all these sequels. <laughs> zombie four goes back to its voodoo roots. Mm -hmm. So it's it almost seems more like a, a sequel to zombie flesh eaters or zombie or zombie 2 <laughs> yeah it starts off with like this voodoo guy and his wife doing this voodoo and she's all getting possessed and <laughs> dancing yeah. around and flailing these scientists are on the island to do research on cancer and during this research they're trying to cure the voodoo guy's daughter and she died and the voodoo guy blames the scientists, or he puts like a curse on the whole island. Yeah. You know, bringing the zombies up, and his wife turns into some crazy demon. Yeah. And starts killing her. It's the, the opening <laughs> of this movie is pretty fucking intense. He has the power to close the door to yeah. hell or whatever, yeah. and they kill they him. They kill him, yeah, they gun <laughs> him down, so like the door to hell stays open, and these zombies, you know, mm. many, many years later, there's these mercenaries hanging out with these girls. <laughs> They're on that boat? Yeah. <laughs> they got that drop handle yeah. mustache. <laughs> And they kind of find their way to this island. One of the girls happens to be the girl who escaped the island when she was a little girl. Right. Her memory's coming back about all this stuff, right? In the meantime, there's another group of people who are like researchers going to the island to find out what happened to this other research team. 
and they stumble upon the zombies. <laughs> yeah. And they kind of have to join forces to, to fight off the zombies on this island. The first thing that you'll notice about this movie, rather than its counterpart, number three, is the wicked opening 80s theme oh. right away that you're introduced to. Oh, it just sucks you in. You're like, yeah! It's a fucking awesome song. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like a song by, by fucking Survivor. Or yeah, something. exactly. Starts off with the muted guitar. Ding, 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 The synth comes in, and it's, yeah. like, it's, a, it's a fucking anthem. Yeah, it's like you're watching a Rocky movie or yeah. whatever, right? It's like, oh, fuck, yeah. And then, like, not only that song, but the, the rest of the movie's score is fantastic, actually. Mm. Like, Yeah, all the little incidental music, yeah. too, scoring the yeah. scenes and shit, are really good. So, already this movie is a big improvement on Zombie 3. And the plot and sort of the backstory of this movie makes sense, right? Like, so you've got this voodoo priest, everything he does and everything that the inhabitants of this island do all make sense. And then the fact that they're on an island, so these zombies and all that that are coming out of the gates of hell... They're kind of contained on the island, right? Exactly. So there's no, there's nothing that's spreading throughout the whole world. And then it's just a few people, they keep the characters to a minimum as well. So yeah. To, you know, to minimize confusion and shit. It all helps to make sense and also feel more like actual legit sequel to Zombie 2. Right. Is it as good as Zombie 2 in Dawn of the Dead? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> no. It is not a good movie on paper. Uh, if you look at, like, you know, what makes a film good, this fails big time. <laughs> yep. But is it fucking fun? It this is... movie is tons of fun. Definitely. The effects are good. It's funny. It's, like, legitimately funny. There's funny lines in the movie. Mm -hmm. The characters are funny. That bearded guy yeah, is yeah. all toothless. And yeah. he's funny. Like, he's legit <laughs> funny. The lighting and the atmosphere is really good in this, too. Like, you can tell there's heart and soul put into this shitty movie. Definitely. Which makes you kind of, like, root for it. Even though this is filmed in Asia again. I think in the Philippines in, again. In the Philippines yeah. again. You don't really feel it besides, like, the jungle. You yeah. don't really feel it like you do in the third one. Yeah. And the, the zombie extras and stuff look so much better. Yeah. You can't see, like, their real faces and that they're all shitty. Yeah, underneath. like, in Zombie 3, those <laughs> extras are just, like, just, like, bums. Yeah. Like, he's got these <laughs> bums to, like, put rags on them. Why all the zombies in Zombie 3 are dressed, like, in rags. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's no normal everyday person zombie in Zombie 3, they're all like these bums in pajamas. Yeah, it's like they didn't have any money, like <laughs> nothing, like come on. Like at least in Zombie 4, it's on a voodoo island, so the fact that the zombies all look like they're in these rags, it makes more sense, right, as opposed yep. to Zombie 3. Zombie 4, great improvement, it's a lot of fun. If like, yeah. if, if you want a, a, a fun, schlocky, so bad it's good movie this is one of my favorites actually yeah definitely it's a lot of fun that brings us to zombie 5 killing birds <sighs> <laughs> oh man this movie's only called zombie 5 just for the dvd release they just plastered the zombie 5 title on <laughs> and that was it it was originally just called killing birds <laughs> Oh, why, out of all the movies to slap Zombie 5 on, why a movie about killing birds? <laughs> like, I'm sure there's another shitty Italian zombie movie <laughs> they could have put Zombie 5 on. Yeah. So this movie starts off with like this Vietnam vet, and he finally comes home, and he sees his wife in bed with another man. So he pulls out his knife, falls slow and everything, and he kills the man. Then he kills her. So all these birds? Yeah, there's all these birds and whatnot, and he's like, he starts getting attacked and everything by all the birds, and they peck his eyes out. 20 years later, you get introduced to all these college kids that are like researching birds. This famous bird researcher that they go visit to. <laughs> to get some information from about these birds. <laughs> Played by famous actor Robert Vaughn. 
and you kind of assume that he's the guy from the beginning because he's blind, he's wearing these glasses, right? Let's them use his old house as a base to do their research, and this old house is the house where those murders took place in the beginning of the movie. So they're setting up and doing this bird research, hanging out in the house, walking around, Ugh. and running into these ghosts and being taken back in time. Yeah. And then they run into some zombies in the basement. They have to get that generator all going. Like, they spend way too much time trying to get this fucking <laughs> generator running. Like, And then it keeps cutting back to Robert Vaughn's character, the blind man. <laughs> it's kind of like listening to birds in his house and like reading <laughs> Braille. Reading all that Braille. That's all that guy does yeah. in his life. <laughs> And then he shows up at the house at the end of the movie and is like, You can all leave now. They're here because of me. And then, like, these birds come and, like, kill him, and that's the end of the movie. <laughs> you don't even see him die. You just hear it. No! You just see the exterior of the house, <laughs> and superimposed birds flying by, and hear him scream. <laughs> and, and then the credits roll. Oh, good lord. This is by far the worst of the zombie <laughs> sequels. <laughs> There's barely any fucking zombies in it. This whole movie makes no sense whatsoever. It makes no sense. There are zombies in this movie, but why they're there, you have no clue. No. Why they're in the basement. <laughs> First opening scene where he kills the people is kind of okay. Like, that is yeah. intriguing. Okay, this might be pretty good. And then from there, it's like nothing happens. Like literally, <laughs> yeah. nothing happens in the movie. And I, my notes, where are my no It's like I made timestamps 30 minutes in, nothing has happened. They're just in the house walking around. Yeah. 40 minutes, nothing. 50 minutes, nothing. 56 minutes, they're zombies, but you don't know why. <laughs> the movie's called Killing Birds. And there's no birds <laughs> doing any killing in the movie no. until literally an hour and a half in, right before the credits roll, and you don't even see it. Yeah. And then that blind guy is all completely useless in the whole fucking movie. Like, there's that one scene too where he's, he stands up, and he's got that stick and all that, and then he's all... Hah! <laughs> and then he keeps walking. It's like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? <laughs> it's like, so has, has some stroke or something? Like, what the fuck? It's such a weird movie because they have these flashbacks to the past, and then that's when the zombies arrive or, or, or whatever, right? Like, it's hard to discern. But they do actually kind of look cool. They do look kind of neat, yeah. But why they're there, you you never really know. And why the birds are killing? Why it's called killing birds? I got no clue whatsoever. Like, nothing is explained. Like, this, <laughs> it's got to be, honestly, one of the worst <laughs> movies I've ever seen in my life. I know. And it's like, detach it from the whole zombie series or whatever. On its own, it's a terrible movie. Yeah, <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible movie. <laughs> if you did take the zombies out, what would you have? You'd have nothing. You'd have a nonsensical movie with this guy reading Braille and listening to fucking birds. birds. <laughs> yeah, and, and these teenagers seeing ghosts in the house and like... <laughs> <laughs> So, as you can tell, you go from Dawn of the Dead, <laughs> which is like top quality, <laughs> to Zombie 5 Killing Birds, which is one of the worst pieces of shit ever. <laughs> That's where this franchise went. Uh, yeah. Or not franchise, it's not a fucking franchise. It's, <laughs> it's movies with the zombie name slapped on it for no reason. Yeah, yeah, just to... Uh... Just to market and produce them, that's yeah. it. And that is the confusing, bizarre history of the zombie series. Yeah. And what a fall from grace. <laughs> I'll tell ya. Man, oh man. <laughs> it would have been better if it was like, I wish Zombie 4 was the direct sequel. That would have been... And then just end it. You don't yeah. need the other ones. Like, right, oh. yeah. If you were to watch any of the zombie sequels after... Uh, Lucio Fulci's original zombie, part four is the one to go for. Yeah. You can disregard three and five. 
they make no sense. They're not connected in any way whatsoever. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> And if you're gonna watch them all, make sure you have a beer. Oh, uh, you'll need <laughs> you'll quite need... <laughs> a few beers to get through Zombies 3 and 5. And you'll probably need a couple of beers to actually enjoy Zombie 4 at its fullest potential. Yeah, yeah exactly. You might as well get a keg. Yeah, get a keg, <laughs> blast through them, and realize you wasted your life. <laughs> like we've done. <laughs> Oh, and until next time, keep drinking.